Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Um, you were looking at me in the raw, no makeup. I decided to do a um, get ready with me video and let you guys know that I'm going to be doing a live later. So um, make sure you're watching for that. But um, yeah, my this was kind of my husband's idea. He said, you know, you should make a video like doing makeup kind of like everybody else does. I was like, sure, okay. I've done one before, but I don't know if you guys all saw it or not. Um, I really don't do anything spectacular for makeup. Um, moisturizing is definitely a must. Um, everybody always, you know, oh, you don't look your age. Like, what's your secret? I don't have any secrets. Um, I use moisturizer and it's not anything spectacular I will show you what it is in just a minute um, but this is, this is what I do every day same routine the only difference is sometimes I use a um, liquid and sometimes I use the powder but that's about the only difference um, but I always, always moisturize. So, okay. So what I do use is uh, this Pons. It's this. And uh, every morning. And then uh, when I take my makeup off at night, I use this before I go to bed that's all I do nothing spectacular um, I don't use all kinds of serums and all that other stuff um, just simple <laughs> simple is the way to go for me um, I don't do the and I also don't uh, I just don't cake on a lot of stuff and I it's funny, everybody's all into the beauty blenders, and, you know, I'm like, we were given hands for a reason, and I use my hands. So this is what I'm doing. So this is my concealer, and I always use this. I do not use a brush, I do not use a sponge, I use my fingers. And I know people say, well, but your fingers have oils in them and you shouldn't be doing that. Well, I clean my hands prior to doing my makeup, so there is nothing on my fingers that should not be there. And the only reason I even use a concealer is because I have a lot of redness in my skin and I don't know I think some of it might be the psoriasis a um, little bit of rosacea but that's what I use the concealer for is basically to cover that up so um, I don't know if any of you guys have done this before I've seen other people do it. Um, like I said, it's nothing special. Um, it's just my daily routine. Yeah, my psoriasis is starting to show up on places I don't like. Down here and all over the place. But it is what it is. And I have the skin that was given to me. And basically I have to deal with it. So that's what I do. I deal with it. So um, I think today is going to be a powder foundation day. I've been doing that lately. Especially when I'm not going to be going anywhere. I'm like, well, why take liquid foundation on if I don't need it? I'm not going anywhere to do anything spectacular. So I just use my, Mac, my um, Maybelline. 
that's what I use because it doesn't bother my skin. It's just a powder foundation, which I use a foundation brush to apply. And very simple, take a little bit and just brush it on. And it, it, it does its job. It covers pretty well. I mean, if you have um, major skin issues, I don't know if you would like this, but for me, it's light, it doesn't clog your pores, and it does the job. I see some of the makeup that some of these artists out there use, how they cake it on, and I'm just like, you know, how, how can your skin possibly breathe through all of that stuff that you're putting on? And I think... I think that that would aid you personally because you're clogging your pores, your skin can't breathe, and it's not going to be healthy for your skin. So why would you do that? I just don't get it. But this stuff that I buy, I think it costs like 11 or $12 for a little pot of it. You don't get a whole lot, but... It does work. It does not irritate my skin. And trust me, with the psoriasis, if um, if it was going to irritate anybody, it would definitely irritate me. But it does not. It just does its job. So, that's that. Very simple. Um... Yeah, I was going to say when, um, for the live this evening, make sure that you guys try to think of some subject or some questions that we can talk about. You don't have to. It's just a suggestion. Um, I just thought it might be a good idea for everyone to come up with something that they might want to discuss. And uh, we could discuss it. Um, on a good note, I'm going to be receiving... The doll that I'm making the fairy out of um, probably on Monday and I'm also receiving um, same girl that was sending me that stuff out is also sending me um, some parts and stuff and I'm going to basically try to put something together and maybe possibly make another alternative baby if somebody's interested so um, keep your eyes open for that um, Good old eyelash curler. Yes, I do this. I do not wear false eyelashes. I can't. I don't, I just don't, I don't know. I can't perceive that. I have lashes. They may not be the longest lashes, but when I put mascara on them, they look pretty good. So, but anyways, yeah. Um. And then my Raphael kit will be going home soon. And hopefully I'm going to have some more orders. Would be great. So that I can get some more dolls going. And get some more money, which would be really great. Like I have every bill due that's owed in the house right now. So <laughs> I need to get those paid. And um, not have to worry about that. And just be able to have some money to do something with. Like, we have, like, nothing. We scraped up a little bit that my husband had in his one account yesterday to, um, or a couple days ago, to actually go to the store to get some things that we needed. Um, the basics, you know, bread, milk, things like that. Um, but, man, it stinks not having any money. Really, really stinks. Um, I was hoping that I would have sold some dolls, but it didn't work that way. So, once I get things going on a steady basis here with um, doll sales, that would be really good. Because then we won't have to worry about it. 
I mean, if I sold a couple dolls a month, I'd be set just for the bill money. But I need those orders to start coming in. So, yeah, if you guys know anybody that wants a doll, please send them my way. And, um, I mean, I have people who have bought from me who know what my work is all about. So, I'm not too concerned about that. You know, I'm... I'm known enough from people out there who have bought more than one from me. Um, the one girl that has purchased three dolls from me now, she's actually wanting to purchase possibly one or two more. I know she wants one, but possibly two um, alternative babies. So, um, like I said, I mean, I, it's not like I'm, I don't have any... credibility because I do um, it's just a matter of seeing my work if you haven't seen my work you can always find pictures on my Facebook page or you can also find um, videos on here so you know keep your eyes open because you can find them I'm trying to find a pencil that I cannot find right now I put it in here yesterday. I know, I don't know where it is. Lovely. That's not what I want. That'll work. So, uh, yeah. I am not good at doing eyebrows. I just kind of go with the flow. But I, uh, my eyebrows have thinned a lot over the years. I remember I used to have really full eyebrows and then um, somebody I know, a friend of mine, decided he was going to pluck them to death and after that happened, they never grew back the same. So, don't ever let anybody pluck your eyebrows. So I keep them, you know... I pluck them to keep them uh, looking nice, but I don't overdo it like he did because I think he killed them. <laughs> killed my eyebrows. So, and they're both not even shaped the same, which is really weird. They just naturally are not shaped the same. So trying to get them to come out the same all the time is not an easy task because I don't even have like the same outline to follow. One is different than the other. One goes up more than the other. It's really weird. So whenever I try to do this, they never come out looking exactly the same. Which I don't really care. Technically, I wouldn't even be doing this. Most of the time, I used to just go without doing it, but then it looks like I don't have any <laughs> and I'm not gonna try to pull that one off the no eyebrow thing I know people are doing that now I've seen a couple of people now that are going with no eyebrows but that's just not for me and I cannot do that so no so I just kind of try to make them look as good as I can and there's been days when I've sat in here for 15 minutes only on my eyebrows trying to get them to come out the right way, which we're not going to do today because I'm not going to have a 15 minute video of me just playing with my eyebrows. <laughs> so no. But if you, I don't know if you can see that, they're not coming out the same. They, it's just, it's like impossible. I keep trying to fix it and it just doesn't work. Yep, gotta love it. I don't know. We aren't perfect. Nobody is. All right, after this, I'm done. We're just gonna leave it be, and that's that. All right. Like I said, I never claim to be a perfectionist at this. I am not. I'm just trying to darken them up a little bit. There. So, 
Anyways. Second coat of mascara. And then I'm going to go on to the blush. I'm o I only have a couple more things to do. Like I said, I don't do anything spectacular. I don't wear that much makeup. I just never have. I don't try to be somebody that I'm not, basically. I don't... Why make myself look completely different with makeup? Because that's not who I am. I'm just accentuating. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> accentuating. And then... I'm done. Now... I'm sure you guys are thrilled to death with this, but some people actually like to watch people do their makeup. So I'm figuring, you know, it's content and it's something and why not? It's not hurting anybody. If people don't want to watch it, they can skip it. They don't have to watch it. If people do want to watch it, they can watch it. But... I've seen so many people do many do videos about just doing their makeup and you know people pull out this ex these expensive exquisite brands of makeup and it's like you know what they're all the same I don't care what anybody says I've tried them and there's actually been some expensive stuff that I don't like um for the most part you know I like the stuff I have that I use and it's you know I got palettes that I bought from um, from stores and I've got palettes that I got from you know Ipsy and stuff like that but uh, I'm cleaning my brush but um, I don't see what the big difference is you know what I mean um, you can spend $20 on something or $5 on something and it can work the same so I just don't understand the concept other than the name all it is is a name you know you put your name on something and that automatically if you're a well-known person that automatically makes it cost more money or I don't agree with that okay for blush I just use a pink nothing spectacular I don't do contouring I don't do anything like that I just do Pink blush. You don't, I mean, I don't want to look like a clown. I just want some color. So. So that is what I do. I like the pink. I mean. I've tried using darker colors and it just looks ridiculous. So I actually got this palette that I'm using from um, from my Ipsy, and uh, it's got eyeshadow and blush and highlighter and bronzer in it, which I think the blush gets the most use out of it. I'm just not into the bronzer and everything else. I'm trying not to make funny faces. I know that sometimes when people put makeup on, they make all kinds of funny faces, which I almost did, but I stopped myself. <laughs> so, no. There won't be any funny face making here. So... Yeah, maybe once I get some money in my bank, I can get another Ipsy bag. Um, I've been keeping it on hold because of um, because of the money situation. But um, it's killing me because I used to get so much nice stuff from them for, I think it was $25 for the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. And um, I've had it on hold now since... Let's see, it's been December, January, and February. Three months I had on hold. So I kind of miss it because I used to, um, 
I was actually doing the, whoopsie, we don't want to do that. I was actually doing the reviews of the Glam Bag Plus and it was getting quite a, quite a few views on my channel. So um, I miss not doing that now. Mm, I just do. Okay, so they have what's called Mineral Veil, which is a powder. And you put it on over everything that you just did. And it's just, it's a setting powder, basically. And it comes in its own little bottle with a little brush. You just have to shake it down before you use it. But you can get a whole kit. I think it was for like 20 something dollars for the stuff that I'm using right now. And um, it works out pretty good. So let me see. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere I have a lipstick. And I don't know where it is. Okay. There it is. I don't even use expensive lipsticks. I just find one that I like. I don't use a brush. I don't use a liner. Simple as can be, see? And then the last thing let me put this away because then if I don't, I'm not, I'm going to be looking for it later and I will not know where it is and I'll be ripping my hair out. All right, so um, I have this bag that I keep all my, my mineral stuff in. It's a caboodles, but it's a soft bag. And that's what I keep all my mineral stuff in, my powders and stuff. So the last thing I do is, and I do do this because um, this is actually this was a setting spray but this is actually um, I learned how to make my own setting spray with witch hazel so that's what I do and I just spritz just like you would any other setting spray and let it dry and then you're done so it's drying it's a little damp but that's all there is to it and uh, as you see, there's nothing spectacular. I don't do anything special. Um, I just do the basic. I mean, if I'm going out somewhere special, I might offer on some eyeshadow. But uh, that's about it. And I always keep baby wipes handy because they work good at taking the makeup off my hands from when I blend stuff, if I'm blending in blush and everything. So I always have baby wipes. You'll always, always, always <laughs> see baby wipes on my on my desk. But that's it. That is it. Um, I do have to brush my hair out because I do not keep it up in a headband. Never do. So. So that's the last thing I do is brush my hair out and I use these little detangling brushes. They work really well and that's it. So anyways, um, let me, let me know if you guys come up with any ideas for the live. Um, I'm not really sure what time I'm going to do it. I was trying to figure that one out. Um, it's Friday. So I figured it was a good day to do a live because a lot of people don't have to work tomorrow. Um, I have discovered that when I do lives on the weekdays, I don't really get as many people. So, and then I'll be able to see. Hi. Wow. So, yes. Um, so that's it. Um, there will obviously be a notification when I'm going to do my live this evening. And, um, I look forward to talking with you guys. So be watching for me, be watching for the notification. 
I will be putting, I don't know, see I've been putting notifications out on my, um, this is like really bright. Anyways, I've been putting notifications out on my uh, Facebook and Instagram. Um, but if you're watching this video, you'll know to watch for the notification. So, um, again, I don't know what time I'm going to do it. Um, we'll have to wait and see. But you got to see me <laughs> without my makeup on. Um, I don't do that very often. So, but I just thought I would come on and. Um, show you my simple easy routine and you have the view of two pencils back here i noticed that <laughs> from the from the mirror um anyways all right i'm gonna go and i will see you guys live later i look forward to chatting with you then and take care bye for now